Ah, uh, relaxing, isn't it? Hello once again, friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome back to Scraps. That's right, Scraps, the game by Moment Studio. Oh yeah, that music kicking up, baby, hell yeah. Bill Official, by the way, wrote me after I did my first playthrough, or my first kind of Let's Play, or my first Give It A Go testing out of Scraps. Said he loved the video, wanted to give me a, a alpha copy sometime in the future, and right now this game is on Kickstarter, so kick your butt over there and uh, support this game ha more than halfway to the goal, so I want to give him some, um, some support, and I want to show you guys a vehicle I made um, not so long ago, but that's pretty damn fun to drive. So, the vehicle editor, there's some some uh, description or some instructions on how to do that. We'll, uh, we'll build a basic vehicle, and I'll also show off uh, my tank, uh, it, as I call it in a minute, uh, right click whatnot. I already know how to do most of this stuff, so we're actually going to load a save vehicle. There's a few vehicles that come with the game that you can screw around with, but yours truly has something called the McDonald's Freedom Tank, bringing liberty to over 3 billion sold. Oh yeah, that's right, that's what we call a light tank here in the United States. Now, uh, this is a really cool, cool vehicle, I must say. I experimented on it. Basically, here's how it works. You have uh, three different types of weapons at the moment. Actually, I should say four, and we'll go through those in a minute, but uh, weapons are charged by those blue things in the back, which are generators that send them to capacitors, which are basically like generators charge your batteries, and engines, like in the back, help you go forward. Game modes will include a multiplayer and single player, and of course, multiplayer will allow you to play against friends, and you'll have to blow turrets off, turrets off the top of each other's vehicles and just eliminate other players, and we're hoping that in the future there'll be some type of uh, some type of limiter on how many points you can use to uh, build certain vehicles. For instance, if you limit it to only a thousand points, for instance here the cow catcher is 300, so you would have to have a very limited vehicle or the prices will adjust in the future or whatnot. So anyway, let's change up the McDonald's freedom tank here a little bit. And uh, once we click on things, it lifts up a little bit to help us to edit. Uh, we can also adjust the suspension and everything in the front and in the back, but I think we'll try to keep it as low as possible uh, here, <laughs> especially because when she fires, uh, she likes to do a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a jump. So uh, we're gonna put the cow catcher on the front of it there, and we'll go ahead and save that. We'll save it as the McDonald's Freedom Tank. No, no big deal. Getting now, of course, some things are not even in this game, which leads to interesting design. You may have to add a brick or something. Maybe we could block one tire and uh, add one to the other side and uh, block both tires. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, I like that. So let's go ahead and save that. Looks nice. Cow catcher may also cause some damage there, or might just be ex uh, additional armor. Man, that looks evil. That really looks nice. So targets include, well, you'll see there in a minute, but look at that. Uh, McDonald's Freedom Tank, available funds unlimited. It tells you the mass. Holy crap, 34,000 pounds. The uh, engine is 812 kilowatts, 82% efficiency. Good. Uh, power in, it tells you the seconds. Not exactly sure what that means. Oh, I, it's fully charged in 21 seconds. I don't know about that. That seems like forever. Uh, and then, yada, 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 yada. So that's for a basic advanced building, but no need to worry about that. Let's test this bad boy out. Basic vehicle controls there, move and steer WSD, tab to change weapons, Q changes between link modes, that's important uh, because that'll help you train all your guns on a certain target at a time, switch between camera and chase cam as C, and left mouse fires the weapons and aims. You can also use a gamepad according to that description. So here we are, McDonald's Freedom Tank. Now when this son bitch fires, you're going to see some crazy stuff going on. Watch this. For liberty and justice for everybody, baby. Let's, uh, by the way, chase cam, I'm hitting C. What's, uh, oh, C actually locks it in place behind the uh, vehicle. Okay, I see. So anyway, when you see this uh, vehicle fire, you're going to see something uh, pretty spectacular happen. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, that's right, baby. She's jumping for joy, for freedom and liberty. So last time, those boxes over there were just kind of boring and yellow, but now it looks like they've added some crate textures to them. So let's train all of our guns on uh, that tower there, and uh, let's go ahead and come to a full stop, and we'll hit uh, space for the parking brake. We'll hold that. Uh, again, Q... Uh, trains all of our guns. We're gonna put every gun on that tower and we're gonna open fire. Here we go, baby. Woo! Hold on that and she'll continue to fire. You can see our power down in the lower right hand corner as it recharges after every fire. Uh, it's probably best for us to wait to get to half power before we uh, release the power of the McDonald's Freedom Tank. That's a quarter pounder with Liberty. That's what I call that main cannon. Look at that. Wow. Blowing all sorts of stuff apart. Pretty good speed on this vehicle as well. Uh, you know, again, two engines in the back and all the other stuff. Uh, of course it's going to be efficient, but when you have a budget, it's going to be a lot different. And, uh, of course, uh, turning is going to be pretty important in this game, too. So you really want to keep mobile while keeping armor. And, uh, of course, this is just target practice, so these boxes pose no threat except for that one. Okay, we got rid of them. Look at them go. Man, Tiger Woods, y'all. Oh, did I get over the fence? Oh, damn. Let's see if we can get one over the fence, though. We'll try that, and uh, we'll go back to the drawing board and build something else. 
Oh, wow, that was crazy. I actually can't believe that. Is that one going? It's going. Ah, oh, damn. How about this one? This become my personal gun golf course simulator. Ah, well, you get the point. So anyway, those guns, of course, take a little while to fire. You can also choose the different, you know, you can do an individual gun or all guns or multiple guns. Or, of course, you can just hold it and do machine guns. Which really seem to convince boxes to move on their own. I love that. All right, let's try to climb a mountain then. I'm, I want to show off a little bit more about the physics. Again, Bill, this is a fantastic game, my friend. Continue work on it. He's worked on this for several re uh, years on his own with uh, no support from you guys. And I think it's about time. I mean, the, first of all, the art style, love it. The music is his own. A lot of the music in the game, at least as far as I'm aware of, is on his YouTube where you can see more demonstrations of the of the game and updates and stuff. And uh, by the way, uh, add add the studio to your uh, Facebook page. Like his, uh, his uh, game studio. I'll add all the links down below. Be sure to follow him. Give him a couple of coins, you guys. This is really good work, really. And I love how fluid it is. And of course, it's, it's nothing but promise. And of course, any game that is a sandbox game that allows you to blow up stuff with your friends. It's like Space Engineers. But let's give love to this game. Space Engineers is great, but we're on Earth, baby. This Bill's down to Earth. He knows what he's doing, except for that cloud. Okay, all right, we, all right, okay. We got, we got rid of the cloud. We're all good now. So anyway, look at that. Fantastic. Really fun to drive around here. There's going to be future levels. This could be the next, this is like Mario, this could be Mario Kart. Who knows? I mean, really interesting stuff going on here. So uh, there's a road over there, but uh, let's try. Let's make something fast now. Enough of the uh, McDonald's Freedom Tank. I think we've had enough of Freedom. Let's go back to the drawing board. Let's start a new vehicle, and uh, let's try on a small chassis. Let's let's see exactly how fast we can go. Let's build a couple of large engines. Uh, you know, we're gonna call this the uh, we're gonna call this the small American SUV. So we'll go ahead and uh, load her up with a couple of small engines. They're large. The game says they're large, but we Americans know that these are small. And uh, let's go ahead and add, uh, let's see. Hmm, now can, they won't add equally. Bill. Oh, well, that's all right. All right, so I think we're going to have to raise the suspension in the back a little bit and lower it in the front. Or is that, oh, it's linked. Uh-oh, don't want to do that. Okay, raise it at the bottom, lower it at the front. Very good. Okay, perfect. Now, cockpit. I'm going to add... Uh, gonna add a tiny little cockpit to the front of it should be good right all right let's give it a test uh, let's go ahead and test it I don't think we need to name it just yet we're gonna call it the T turbo though look at those engines it spells a T for turbo oh we're already doing 100 miles an hour yeah you can uh, you can tip over too and be eliminated from the game so you definitely uh, want to make sure that doesn't happen to you 120 wow oh my god uh, your uh, parts by the way in multiplayer as he showed as a demo on uh, one of his recent demos will fly off if you crash and such so uh, stability is good not only is there armor in the game but of course uh, you know there's other building blocks that help you to expand your vehicle and we'll look at that next uh, we may have to make the t-turbo a little bit more a uh, little bit more uh, stable I think so let's work on that so let's jump back to the, not the main menu but the build screen and uh, t-turbo here is gonna need to be a little bit more stable now of course some of you are saying Raptor that you look like an idiot why would you yeah that's the purpose of scraps <laughs> come on now it's for goofs like me to experiment and of course you're gonna love it because look at all these parts you can you can build with that's just awesome of course power is for weapons but we don't want to have weapons yet we want to we want mobility uh, maybe some armor armor by the way is nice it clicks right on there to whatever direction you're uh, whatever direction you want to point it before you had to manually rotate it and I made like some tank from World War one but uh, anyway let's see medium engines power not 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 much else uh, I guess uh, power locks and uh, windows are not included in this version of scraps just yet so anyway and by the way I love you know it's great to that I played this game and got a response uh, so many months ago and it just makes me want to play it even more so small studios you guys you know you have to support them look at that my T turbo was break break dancing and joy over this game did you see that and by the way there was like something called the uh, weapon of ultimate destruction it was just giant uh, it was just a giant ball that when it stopped it would just roll on its own that is amazing creativity. Like, it, it, you know, if I was the designer of this game and I saw that kind of stuff, I first of all, like, if you're making a game and you think that you're a good designer, when you release it, you feel, you must feel crazy be, or, like, mad because everybody else is doing so much better than you. I mean, think of Notch, right, from Minecraft. You know, small small little game studio at first, made a cool little castle, thought, all right, I made a castle. I'm, I'm the best at this game. I can't wait to see what everyone else does. Maybe they'll 
they can make a small little tower. Next thing you know, people are making entire replicas of like uh, of uh, the Vatican and stuff. So that's what's incredible. And a tea, little T tea, little tea here is just having some trouble staying up. He's just falling over it. Not the size of his engine, but just he just needs some support. And so does uh, this Kickstarter. So please, give it some, some support. And by the way, everything that I'm saying right now is out of the kindness of my heart and my love for this kind of game and for people doing their own thing and working on stuff pro bono and uh, trying to trying to uh, you know bring something new to the world so hats off to uh, the studio uh, hats off to uh, moment studio I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to see if oh there we go all I had to do was hit the brakes I was trying to see if I could actually get back down on all four wheels but yes hats off to everybody my T is now a top hat and I take it off uh, for the good music in this game and uh, of course there's a long way to go look a lot of things to work on but look at how fluid it is. That's what's important. And there's some, there's a lot of promise here. So anyway, enough of that. I love this game. You guys should too. If you want to check it out, click that uh, demo link down below. Install it today. Give it a little try. Build whatever vehicle you want to. We're doing donuts for joy now. Oh, man. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to plow. Did I plow into those boxes? We got to do that. Let's actually, you know what we're going to do? Before we go... Before we get out of here, which I don't want to, but I, I have to. I have things, I have thing, I have places to be, which is why I bought the, why I made the T-Turbo. I got places to go. What better way? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put, uh, we're going to put the uh, turbo wings out on this thing. They're kind of like floaties. Make sure things don't get too crazy. We're going to put a one by one extend, a couple of them on the back so we don't tip over. You'll see. Watch this. It's going to be sweet. Now, is there a way to rotate these? Yes. Right clicking rotates pieces, by the way. And uh, so we're going to do this to make sure we don't fall over. And uh, those two by one extender. Oops, ooh, ooh, where did I put that one? Oh, cool that you can grab it and click it from somewhere else. I like that a lot. All right, so we've got some yellow boxes to take out. Some enemy, yellow enemy boxes spotted. Everybody be on full alert. Here we go. You take them down, take them down, take them all down. We got to do it. All right, ooh, T Turbo's doing good now. Now, of course, you could buy, you could build a much better vehicle by putting the engines in the back, but that's the point of scraps, it's just to screw around. I love games like this. Sandbox, baby. We're going to break the sandbox today. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> nice. We spun right through it, and then we did a brank dance of joy. Nice, T. Good job. T-Turbo flip over. Whoop, whoop. See? Look at that. He responds really good. That's a good tur turbo vehicle. Mm -hmm. So, I, I could have done better. But, let's see what you design. And share your designs with me on the Rat Pack page on Facebook. That's uh, Raptor Rat Pack on Facebook. Check us out on Steam as well. Uh, join that uh, group. And, of course, watch us on Twitch sometimes. Um, we'll be uh, doing some multiplayer on this game for sure. And, Bill, if, uh, if we happen to get any other copies, if you're generous, we're going to play the hell out of this game. So much love to you. Much love to the studio. Again, Moment Studio. Check the links down below. Give them some love on Kickstarter. All the links down below. And uh, give T a little love, too, as he uh, drive, flies off into the night. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, God, T. No. Goodbye, T. Oh, boy. T, you got to get some Red Bull. Wait a minute. Let's not leave just yet. Let's go up this mountain. For anybody still left, watch what we're going to do. Raptor's going to make an idiot of himself on the Internet. Goodbye. T away. Fresh Maze Program. <laughs>